Hey guys, Sheeps is here, and today I'm showing you a bucket plugin called Mindstats. I'm going to show you how to install it, and then I'm going to show you what it does. First of all, I'll give you a quick summary though. Uh, here's the about page. As you can see, it has a ticket system. So uh, someone can type slash ticket in game, and then followed by a question that they have for you, the admin, or um, an issue that they're having, like uh, another plugin that isn't working, or someone has griefed their house, or anything like that. The next feature is statistics tracking. Well, I'm surprised they got that uh, first time, but, oh, first thing, uh, make sure you're watching this on 1080p, otherwise the text in this video could be quite hard to read. But, um, yeah, MindStats lets you, well, it's in the name, isn't it? MindStats, it lets you track statistics about your server. Amount of people who joined, there's new players, how many diamonds have been mined, uh, how many lapis lazuli has been mined, how many sword swings, how many mob kills, how many PvP kills, how many people have died and died in what ways. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, quick commands is another thing. Uh, as I'll show you later, there's buttons to that you'll write a script. As it says there, if you write a script, it's maybe got a couple commands in it, and then that will condense it into a button that you can just press once without having to type in several commands. A good example of this is uh, when you want to say something, like broadcast something to the entire server, but you don't want to have it to type out many times, and you don't have a plugin that will automatically broadcast a message, but you want to still be able to say this message like multiple times. You could have a, a button or write out a script that says this command and you put what you wanted to say in it and then you just click the button and it will say it and uh, in the game and that's that's awesome so let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you how to get into it you for, first of all you want to register once you've stuck in an email address and a password click register go over to your email account uh, check your junk folder my Mine stats confirmation email ended up going to my junk folder and I couldn't find it straight away. So remember to check your junk folder. I'm going to head going to go ahead, sorry, and log in here. There we go. And once we're logged in, this is what you'll see. You can see a big button that says create server. So go ahead and say that. Uh, I'm just gonna go for bucket server, because if you're running this plugin, you'll be using bucket, you'll want to put in your the IP of your server and a little description to remember uh, to help you remember the uh, which server this is because you can have multiple servers. Let me just go ahead and find my IP. Okay, so I've stuck in... Ooh, bollocks. Oh, okay, I still remembered it. I stuck in my IP and uh, a little description for me to remember that this is my locally hosted server. So we go ahead and click create server and then you have this. Now you want to go to back to the home page and click download. Now uh, if you're up to date you'll be wanting to use 1.4.7 because these are the latest builds. So I'm going to go ahead and download the latest one, save it, there we go, and uh, open containing folder copy it and I'm going to go into my, let me just close some of these, I'm going to go into my bucket folder. Maximize this. So as you can see it's just a, a plain bucket um, server menu thing. Sorry I forgot the name of it there. But what we're going to go ahead and do is create a folder and title it plugins and then we're going to go into this and paste mine stats there. I've downloaded this before so I had the uh, one in front of it but I'm just going to rename it. So there we go, mine stats. Now if we go and run the server, it'll run through, there we go, mine stats, updated online stats, took 103 milliseconds. So there we go, it automatically put everything in. So if we go back to the page, uh, use dashboard now I'm actually going to log in and just refresh this. Here we go. This is my local server. So if I log into this, come on. Do, do, do. Here we go. 
Okay, so Sheepsis has joined. So if I go back to this, go to players, there are no players online. Let me just figure out why. Okay, sorry about that. I, uh, I missed a step out. What we want to do is go to my account, details, once you've added your server, click view to details. Now copy this security code. Copy and paste it. Now we want to go and stop our server for now. There we go. Head into the um, menu, go into the mind stats. Now we have a configuration file here. So we can open this in WordPad and we can also open Notepad. What we want to do is copy and paste the secret code into where it says secret code. Uh, update time in minutes, that's how often your server will update with mindstats.co.uk. 5 is a perfectly fine uh, number, that's what I use on my main server. So after we've done that, we go back to the main server menu, click run, da da da, mindstats is updated. So if we go back into this, like so, Head back over to the website, uh, use dashboard players, and there you go. You can see that now I am registered as being online. Now by default there are these four commands, kick, ban, give food, and make creative. So uh, I'll use give food as an example. If we click this once, there we go, and we go in game, I should probably sort out my inventory a bit, just put all these up into the top. Like that. Now, if you wait a while, mine stats. I it does check. It doesn't check constantly because that would put a great strain on your server. That's why there has to be a certain amount of time between mine stats checking with the website and your server. So by default, it's at five minutes. Now that give food command will give me one pork chop. It's obviously configurable on the website. You can also add your own commands to this. Uh, but one thing I will go on to while we're waiting for that give food command to come through is the ticket system. There's currently no tickets received, but if we go in game, now say your players are having an issue, they can type slash ticket and then their issue like that. Obviously not, don't put that in, but so if we type help admin, my house was griefed ticket sent. So then you, the admin, comes along, goes into tickets and uh, there we go. We see the player, we see the date and time at which the ticket was sent and the content of the ticket. Now you can either delete it if uh, it doesn't need a reply or you can reply to it which will send a message to the player in game. Now if they're offline, currently this uh, they won't get the message. But I have talked to the developer and he says that it, in a future update they will get the message later. So if I type in, uh, right, thanks for telling me. Submit it. Now if we head in game, as you can see, a response to your ticket and then the response, right, thanks for telling me. So, that is how the ticket system works. It's very good for cutting down on the, like you might have to use a forum or, which would require external hosting and a website and uh, you don't want to get into all that. So you can just have this ticket system with MindStats. And also, if you have the premium of MindStats, you can, let me just go into this page, there we go, you get multiple servers, you can manage staff. now. Staff would be other players that you would allow to access mindstats.co.uk to access the ticket system and then they can reply to tickets themselves and it basically means having not having to go through all your tickets if you have a very large server. Now talking of a larger server, I am going to log into my main oh actually, let's go over one thing first. Stats. No, let's, let's save stats for on the main server. Let's go to settings. Now these are the player buttons. 
These are the commands that you will see when players are online here. So obviously you can configure all these widgets and scripts. I will go on to on the main server, so I'll see you once I have logged into my other account. Okay, so here is the MindStats page for my main server. It's had about 10 or 20 people on every night for a couple of days, and I've been running MindStats on it for maybe three days. So if we go ahead and look at the stats, as you can see, here's a graph for the past couple of days. Four days ago, there were zero new players. Three days ago, there was 23, and 26, and 24, and today there's been 22 so far. So this is the new players stats, as you can see there. You can add other things to this graph. So if you want to put in the players joined, and maybe players died, draw the graph, and there you can see, you can compare those two metrics and see it helps you to see over time how changing one thing will affect another thing. So as you can see, there is, doesn't seem to be much correlation between players joined and players dying. But if I went on to players joined and messages sent and draw the graph between those two, you can see that spikes happen on similar days. So this is very useful for seeing spikes between things. Now, here's a little today's stats thing at the side which gives you all the stats for today. Eggs thrown, sheep shaven, lava placed, poison deaths, fire deaths, all kind of deaths, sword swings, 1900, 900, exactly. It's pretty interesting. So, it's not 1900, sorry, that's 1900. <laughs> Bit of a weird way of saying that. So, if we go over to the dashboard, we'll see that I have a ban with reason widget, a say message widget. So the say message widget, if you type anything there, like say, for example, good morning, exclamation mark. Now if I go onto my server, there we go. So here we are at the spawn of my server. I can run the command and head in game and very shortly this should pop up with a message from server saying good morning but there we go good morning so obviously there's a little bit of a delay between running command and waiting and that's just the way it has to be because having an instant connection between a website and a server will introduce lag into your server and we're trying to keep the resources down as much as possible so um yeah when we, when making a widget a widget is these things those are widgets so you have two parameters up to two parameters currently and parameters are basically if you've never done any sort of coding parameters are basically values variables that is the word i was looking for so you t the example it gives here is give player 265 amount. So give and 265 are solid, they don't change. But player and amount, it will ask you to put them in like this. So this is ban with reason. Uh, a script is similar, except that it run allows you to run several commands consecutively. So you could have a uh, time set zero followed by a colon and then a set weather sun colon and then say uh, have a nice day colon so that's pretty much the essence of scripts and widgets there's just an example script now the uh, the support page for Mindstats is the uh, twitter.com forward slash Mindstat. Uh, he is very quick with getting back to you for uh, any issues. I've had a couple issues, but he's got back like within minutes every single time. So support is very good. And I think that is just about everything I had to go over. 
so I will thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below or head over to uh, the Mindstat Twitter account where you can ask all the complex questions that I wouldn't know how to answer. So I thank you very much for watching. Uh, like the video if it's helped you, subscribe if you'd like to see my other videos, and I bid you farewell.